Welcome to working with Gestalt. Um, what we're doing here is uh, working with the principles of Gestalt in order to create a poster, in this case a type poster, but it can contain images or whatever you need within the project that's being put together. Now I just wanted to cover just a few principles of Gestalt. Gestalt is basically this line here, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Think of uh, an orchestra or a band. All the individuals may play great music from mel melody, being it uh, on the keyboards, uh, guitar, through bass guitar, drums, etc. But if they don't sound brilliantly together in harmony, um, it's just a mess. But put them together, then it's fantastic because everything works together. The whole creates a much better experience than its parts. So that's essentially what it's about, but we're working visually. Now just a few key things here. We've got, we're going to have one of the main areas, which is figure ground. It utilizes positive and negative space to build perception. So in this example, an Escher example, and you can see what he's done with the birds turning into a fish, playing with space and the changing space. And the Gestalt is particularly this area in here, where it's really playing with your eyes at uh, what is, is still the duck flying and what is the, the fish that's under, under the sea. So figure ground is probably one of the most key things. Again, figure, figure ground down here, the famous FedEx logo that reveals the arrow. Now, um, this is the version, the English version. If you go to the Arabic version, I'll just show you that down here. Uh, that has the arrow going the reverse way, basically because the meaning and the way that you read it goes the reverse way. But um, logos feature figure ground a, a lot in their work. Anyway, so figure ground, we have proximity. The positioning of elements in order to be perceived as belonging to a group. So these could be positioned in a lot of different ways, but you see how the group and the positioning definitely work with this object here. We have similarity, which containing similar attributes, maybe color, form, shape, size, angle, angle, etc. And we certainly have similarity in this group as well. Um, we also have things like closure. Okay, um, now a famous logo, which I don't have here, is the World Wildlife logo, which is a panda. It doesn't have to fill in the shape of the backbone of the panda to see that that is joined as one unit. It's actually white. It's open yet we see it clearly as one shape. Now there's lots of examples that play with that and um, certainly good to check as Gestalt um, and closure and you'll see a ton of examples. Continuation is a perceived path or direction. Now here's a con um, conceived path or perceived path that follows on through here. It's Actually it's moving forward wherever the destination is going to be. So this is quite cleverly. So there's a lot of psychology in this logo. But you use arrows or pointers some from finger symbols um, to show that uh, you, you're, you're touching something or you're pointing somewhere so you tend to look at the other end of that arrow to see where it takes you. And there's hopefully something there that will act, act as a continuation, that, that that is a destination you get to. And that may even take you somewhere else. Now I'm just going to go over here to a Gestalt poster. So here's a Gestalt poster, uh, and I'll just move that over to the side a little bit here. Okay, now um, this is all just done in Illustrator, and what you can see here, I'm working also to a grid, and a grid really helps with understanding where your direction, particularly with continuation, where it goes. So you see um, lots of elements here will line up with something else um, that has something that will visually feel correct, it links to it. And I'm working with a basically um, the grid to help me control that and constrain that. Now, very um, important tools probably to use for, for doing Gestalt type work in Illustrator is the Pathfinder tool. So that's just um, down here under the window and it's just Pathfinder, okay? Because we can use tools to join things and subtract. Even down here we can do it subtract from or minus from back and um, this one is we're, we're just subtracting the top, subtracts from the bottom, etc. Okay, so just play around with these tools to see what um, the result you get, but they really do help you in doing work like that. So for, just for a start, I'm going to take this away and I'm going to go down here um, from um, my guides here, uh, or grids actually, where I, I've, I'm going to hide the grid. 
So I'm not using the guides. This is actually the background grid. And so it's, it looks a lot cleaner. You can see this all sort of uh, fits together, but I can't see where it's actually lining up. You know, like maybe that's a good guess, but no, it's not a good guess. You actually turn on your um, show grid here. Okay, command code show grid. Now, hold it, I've got mine on an angle. Well, that's very simple to do when you want to control your grid. So when you actually put your text and everything will fall into that shape as well, text and images, etc., and type, um, you know, being larger type, display type through to body text, etc., you go up to your preferences here, okay? So just preferences here, and I've changed this from uh, normally around about a 90 degree grid. So if I go OK, see how it goes up and down and it's great to work with um, horizontals and verticals but actually angles can make a lot of interest so I'm going to go back to my preferences here and just keep that on the 30 and that's how simple it is to do just to set it up okay so that's just setting up the file um, there's a second movie just coming and that's just actually showing you how to put these things together so this is movie number one just getting a feel for what Gestalt is about. And I'm just going to use the type that I've got here, just so it makes sense when I'm putting some of the things together. But um, images or type, it's totally up to you. But what you will notice, just before I finish this off, is I'll zoom this down, and you can see that there's a G in here. I'm really playing with a G from the Gestalt, and also an uppercase compared to all lowercase. But, and I'm using a lot of um, positive negative or figure ground type effects to and also other things joining into it but it's revealed it's where it's the whole it's where everything sort of is in there but there's still something that reveals it as a whole and that's sort of where that's um, coming together within a text poster anyway so stay tuned for num movie number two and we'll put this together